Azolo, Italy, a town where time is measured in terms of centuries. Like this restaurant that's been in business here for 600 years. But deep within a very special laboratory in Azolo, they measure time in nanoseconds. And what they're learning is saving lives for people who dare to twist the throttle. One of the secrets to modern day motorcycle riding here is that it's designed to alter time to extend the split second of an impact for as long as possible. The padded hump on the back of the leather suit is the key to scientifically measuring the forces involved in riding, racing, and accidents when they happen. Originally, this was put here for more an aerodynamic reason, but additionally, should the rider fall backwards onto his back and hit his head against the ground, it does also provide a little bit of support between the head and the body prevent an extreme bend of the neck. However, the beauty of having this hump means we can fill it with all sorts of exciting equipment which helps us find out a bit more about the leather suit. That equipment is a data logging system that includes a GPS satellite unit, an inertial motion sensor, and a computer processor powerful enough to monitor and record up to 130 different sensor inputs at a rate of 1,000 times a second. We can fit out the suit with any sensor you can think of, be it pressure sensors to identify pressure points in the suit, temperature and humidity sensors to measure the comfort in the suit, and even things like a heartbeat monitor. One of the most amazing things the sensors reveal is that during a race, the rider's body will move through an arc of 140 degrees as they swing from one side of the bike to the other. Using the GPS unit, the sensors can also follow a rider around a track, measuring G-forces on his body as the bike brakes or accelerates. But the most important measurements are what happens should the rider crash. With the inertial motion unit, we are primarily uh, measuring the orientation of the rider's body, yeah? And then whenever the rider's body is subject to any force, such as an impact, we can work out the, the magnitude or how large that impact actually was. That impact can be as high as five times the force of gravity. An example of the accident, if someone weighs 200 pounds, for that very split second, uh, they're going to be experiencing perhaps 5G and weighing, weighing sort of 1,000 pounds. Obviously that's an extreme force, but it's in a very narrow space of time, yeah? So it's a, it's a little bit like an impact, and our job is really to try and make sure that the, this time where the energy is transferred is really as large as possible. They spend a tremendous amount of time in the laboratory analyzing the information from their data acquisition system. Understanding that information can help improve rider safety but there's literally no margin for error. Obviously, you have to be very careful when you're incorporating technology in the suit, such that we're not actually channeling the force into the body, but spreading the force. The Alpine Stars Data Acquisition Unit is a very unique system, the latest example of how computerized technology is now being used to protect motorcycle riders on both the track and the road when they twist the throttle. 